Today, we're diving into the world of Bash scripting. Bash scripting is one of the most powerful tools in Linux. It helps you automate tasks, manage files, and even build complex workflows with just a few lines of code. Whether you're a beginner or just curious about how scripting can make your life easier, this video is for you. We'll go through 10 practical examples to help you understand the basics of Bash scripting step by step. Uh, by the end of this video, you'll have a solid foundation and be ready to start writing your own scripts. So grab your terminal and let's get started. Let's start with the first one. In bash scripting, you can use the echo command to send an output to the terminal. Let's try running our bash script. But wait, it didn't work. That's because we don't have the necessary execution permissions yet. By default, newly created scripts aren't executable. To fix this, we need to grant execution permissions using the cmod command. Once we do that, we'll be able to run our script without any issues. Now that we have the right permissions, let's execute our first script and see the output on the terminal. Great! In our first bash script, we learned how to send output to the terminal. Now let's move on to the second example. Uh, in this example, we're making our script interactive by asking the user for their name and then greeting them. First, the script uses echo to display the message, enter your name, prompting the user to provide their name. Once the user enters their name, the read command takes the input and stores it in a variable called name. Finally, the script uses another echo command to display a greeting, saying hello, followed by the name the user entered. This allows the script to respond directly to the user's input, creating a simple interactive experience. When you run the script, it prompts you to enter your name. After you type in your name, the script uses the echo command to display the greeting with the name you entered. For example, if you type John, the output will show Hello John on the screen. It's a great way to see how Bash can handle user input and output dynamically. Now let's move on to the next example. In this script, the user is asked to input two numbers. These numbers are then assigned to variables. After that, the script adds the two numbers together and stores the result in another variable. Finally, the total is printed on the screen using the echo command. Let's test it right away. I'll input two random numbers and the script will calculate their sum and display the result. Let's move on to the next example. In this script, we're gonna check if a file exists in the directory where the bash script is running. The user will input a file name and the script will check if it exists, showing an output based on whether the file is present or not. Let's test it right now. First, I'll enter the name of an existing file and then I'll enter the name of a file that doesn't exist. This is a great way to handle existence checks in scripts. Next, let's move on to the next example where we'll see how a for loop works. This script will print numbers from one to five. Let's run it and test it. When you need to use a for loop in your scripts, you can use this approach. Now, in the next example, we're going to perform a password check. First, a password is assigned to a variable, and then the script asks the user to enter a password. The while loop will keep running until the correct password is entered. Once the correct password is provided, the script will print password correct and exit the loop. Let's test it right now. I'll enter the wrong password first, then I'll enter it incorrectly again. The loop will continue until the correct password is entered, at which point the message password correct will appear and the loop will end. Now let's move on to the next example. In this script, we'll ask the user to input a number. The script will check whether the number is even or odd by dividing it by two. If the remainder is zero, it's an even number. Otherwise, it's odd. Let's run it and test it. First, I'll enter an even number. Then I'll enter an odd number. The script will print the corresponding message based on the input. Next, let's learn about functions in Bash. In this script, we'll ask the user for their name, store it in a variable, and then call a function with that name as the argument. The function will print a message with the name using the echo command. Let's run it and test it. I'll input a name and the function will display a message with that name. Now let's move on to learning about arrays. We'll create an array with multiple elements and the script will use a for loop to print each element of the array on the screen. Let's test it right away. You'll see that the array elements are printed one by one as expected. 
Lastly, in this example, we'll write something to a file called output.txt using the echo command. The file doesn't exist in the directory yet, but the script will create it. Afterward, we can use the cat command to check the contents of the file. Let's run the script. The output.txt file is created in the directory, and the values specified in the script are written to it. In this video, we've learned the basics of bash scripting. Thank you for watching. If you found this helpful, feel free to subscribe to the channel and like the video to support the content.